Five Preparation Hacks for Crushing Your Next Job Interview Do you have a job interview coming up that you need to prepare for? Do you feel nervous every time you have to go interview for a new job and things seem to get messed up? Don't worry, that's what everyone goes through, at least a couple of times in their lives. Sometimes during job interviews, things get so messed up that the person interviewing for the job feels like they can't go to another interview and make it right. They fear that their anxiety will mess things up again and they'll never be able to get a good job. Is that the case with you? Well, don't worry. We'll be sharing five hacks for you to crush every job interview that you ever go to. Number one, dress to impress. Did you know that according to the statistics, 55% of the first impressions is based on appearance? We're sure you've heard the saying, dress to impress. But did you know for a job interview, dressing in proper attire not only makes a good impression, but also boosts your self-confidence? For women, heels are a big yes, and they give a lot of confidence while walking and maybe turning a few heads in the process. Just keep in mind that you need to wear something formal that says, hire me because I'm professional. Keep distracting jewelry at bay, nothing too distracting or revealing. Also, smell nice, but don't use a very strong fragrance. You just need to smell fresh and nice so that the interviewer is comfortable. Number 2. Listen to happy music on the way This may sound like nothing, but listening to music on the way to the interview will boost your confidence. You know how you feel after listening to happy, upbeat songs when you're sad or depressed? Yes, music calms our nerves and gives us confidence. So the next time you leave for a job interview, make sure to pop in your earbuds and play some happy music. Caution, mood changing with music depends on what type of music you're hearing so make sure you don't listen to any sad or depressing slow music. Listen to something that makes you feel good about yourself. Number 3. Try and find something in common with the interviewer Don't be too formal with the interviewer, but have a conversation. Ask questions about the job that you're interviewing for. Make jokes, not offensive ones. Make them laugh. Maintain eye contact with them. Try to find something in common with them. That way, they feel like hiring you is a good idea as you'll be like a cool work buddy to them. If they seem tired, ask if they're having a rough day. Most importantly, listen to them when they talk about themselves and not along. Number 4. Don't lie on your resume You might have heard a lot of people telling you that everybody lies on their resume and that it's all right to lie on your resume. But that's not the case, as most of the job interviews require a skill test after the interview. So let's suppose on your resume you've written that you have good writing skills and the interviewer asks you to write something as an assessment. What will you do? Not only will that damage your reputation, but it will also embarrass you and shatter your confidence. You'll be declared a liar. Sometimes when they ask questions about your previous employer, they know some stuff about them. They may also just start asking questions about your major, and if you're lying, you wouldn't know what to say. So a big no to lying on your resume. Number 5. Manage time And last but not least, be on time. Now, time management is something that everybody puts on their resume, and as we talked about not lying there, you have to prove this one on your interview day. Get ready ahead of time. Have your clothes and backup clothes ready the night before. Leave with a margin of 15 to 20 minutes. If the drive is 30 minutes long, leave 50 minutes before you actually have to be there. Punctuality makes a good reputation. You don't want to be late to the interview. If you do get late, don't apologize. Rather, Thank them for being patient and explain to them why you're late. So, now that you have some good hacks up your sleeves, we hope you really do crush your interview. Let us know your nightmare about job interviews and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.